people often say, I wish they could live in times of miracles. I mean, can you imagine living at a time when you could see the ten plagues, the splitting of the sea, the manna falling from heaven, God's voice on Mount Sinai? Incredible. And yet, Rav Yaakov Emden, one of our great sages who lived in Germany about 250 years ago, says that we today live in a time of greater miracles than all of those described in the Torah. And what miracle is he talking about? The miracle of the existence of the Jewish people. We shouldn't be here. How's that a bigger miracle than, than, than all of that which is described in the Torah? How can it be? Rav Yaakov Emden directs us to that ancient and famous passage in the Pesach Haggadah, the Hisham. The very existence of the Jewish people is a miracle because we shouldn't be here. By any of the normal laws of history and sociology, we should long be gone. What's left of the ancient Greek Empire and the mighty Roman Empire? Nothing. And yet we are here today. These words of the Haggadah are a remarkable prophecy. And look how they've been fulfilled. There was a relentless, savage pursuit by enemy after enemy to eradicate the Jewish people, whether it was the Babylonian, Greek empires, Persian, Roman, or the savagery of Europe, the Spanish Inquisition, the Chalmanitsky massacres, the pogroms, and of course culminating in the horrors of the Holocaust. And after all that, here we are. And that's why Rav Yaakov Emden said that to see the Jewish people alive and well and thriving is to witness a greater miracle than even the splitting of the sea. God has looked after and protected us and ensured that we have outlived and outlasted and outsurvived each and every single one of our enemies. And in our own lifetimes, we have witnessed some of the most remarkable miracles of all of Jewish history. After the devastation of the Holocaust, when a rational observer could have said, that's a death blow for the Jewish people. They've finished. What sort of future can there be? And yet, within three years of that, Jewish sovereignty is re-established in the land of Israel. 1948, a tiny strip of land, 600,000 Jews, many of whom Holocaust survivors, had to ward off ferocious attacks from enemies on all sides, and did so. And one military victory after another with great miracles and signs and wonders, the reunification of Jerusalem, the recapturing of the Temple Mount, and in the midst of all of these military dangers, absorbing millions of immigrants from all over the world, from Russia, from Ethiopia, building a thriving economy, becoming leaders in technology and medicine, and all fields of human endeavor. What a remarkable divine miracle from Hashem before our very eyes. And the other awesome miracle of our times is the rebirth of Torah learning. I mean, the Holocaust destroyed everything. All of the great yeshivas of Europe, the Hasidic dynasties, everything was laid waste. What chance was there for Torah learning to revive itself and come back to the world? And yet we see the most remarkable rebuilding of Torah right across the world. The famous names of Mir and Ponovich are alive and well and thriving and bursting at the seams. The great Hasidic dynasties have been rebuilt and in fact today there are more people learning Torah full time than at any other time in Jewish history. And it wasn't just the Torah was replaced, it was increased. To see that is part of an awesome sight. And this miraculous rebirth of Torah learning has led to a rejuvenation of Jewish life, of Torah life in all parts of the world, from Jerusalem to London, New York, Johannesburg, Sydney, Toronto, all over the world, Jewish Torah life is thriving once again with Torah learning at its heart. And in our times also, we face new enemies. Iran in pursuit of nuclear weapons together with its proxy armies in Hamas and Hezbollah seek the total destruction of the Jewish people. And the world listens with silence and equanimity. And once again, 
we the Jewish people face mortal enemies. But what should our response be? We have a choice. On the one hand, we can pretend that these genocidal threats and dangers are just part of the blind laws of history, coincidence just happened. Or we can see them for what they are. And that is part of the divine plan and sweep of Jewish history and Jewish destiny. And to respond accordingly. Obviously we have to prepare practically and strategically to fend off the dangers, but we also need a spiritual response. And what is that response? Vahisha Amda. And it stood. What is it stood? The covenant between us and Hashem, our relationship with Him. And that's where we have to return at times like this, return to Hashem and return to His covenant. Because from that covenant, we will find our clarity of purpose, our moral vision, our confidence and our faith in the future. This is an historic time for the Jewish people. And how we respond really makes a difference. So let us rise to the occasion renew our covenant with Hashem, and in so doing, fulfill our divine, historic destiny.